Three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. It's been a while since I did a house video, and it's time. We're due here. I'm with my friend McCool here. He reached out to me and said, Bean, I have a pretty good vampire team. Do you want to do a video with me? And I said, you know what? I don't have any, I don't have a really good vampire team, so that'd be cool to showcase it. So I'm bringing along boosters. I have Skeletal Frank, I have Shiny Sethos, all boosted of course. Same thing with Skeletal Frank, all boost. I have Sethos, all boost. Then King Bones does a 25% universal boost on Undead. And then we have Shiny Demon Mage over here. And for these vampires here, and if you want to take a look, I do have Vampire Queen but I don't have a shiny version of it. He has shiny Vampire Queen, so he's bringing her along, but she's all on boost on his team, on McCool's team, and then he has Vampire King as well. So we're gonna take a look at his team and some of these really cool vampires. Let's hop on in game here and see what kind of damage we can do. Here we go. We're just doing difficulty level one. We'll do horror mode, of course, and I'm gonna start back here. I think he's gonna try and work on the front of the house. So let me go, let's go ahead and start the game here. And I have a nightmare skeletal Frank that I traded for. So I'm gonna be able to place a couple of him down. And hopefully he can hold a little bit until I get enough money to put a King Bones down. And we'll see. Maybe McCool is gonna have to help me out a little bit here. I don't know if Skeletal Frank is going to be able to hold it. Eh, it seems like he's doing alright. Oh good, he put down some shiny King Revs. So King Rev, remember. Regular King Rev and Shiny King Rev, they both boost Undead as well as Paranormal. And so these vampires, those are Undead. And he puts down his, look at this, I mean, we're already boosting like crazy. This Vampire King. And look at this damage right away. 134 every 0 0.13 seconds. So I don't, I actually don't even know what traits the Vampire King does. If he does tick damage or if he does, I obviously he has a full AoE ring here. But I'm just not sure at this time. So I don't have everything on the floor just yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put a shiny, or no, this is, I'm sorry, this is a regular King Bones, just for an additional boost. And I can play some Sethoses still. And he, I think he already has his entire team out on the floor. All right, well, let me go ahead and, well, I can't even level up because I'm not making any money. Oh man, this is gonna be kind of rough for me, but he has the team to carry anyway. He's the main feature here. So look at this Vampire King, and now he's doing 206,000 damage and that's occurring over the course of uh, 0.13 one, three, one, three seconds. So let's see if I can kind of follow along and figure out what Vampire King does. And he has Nightmare on him, which is absolutely awesome. So it does look like he is kind of like a Kairos kind of deal where he's doing that tick damage over the course of time. And if I'm wrong about that, which I very well could be, then we'll find out. And I'll take a look at his max stats. He's on he's on only level three upgrade. And we have shiny king rev, normal king rev. Yeah, look at this. He's summoning. And look at all these bats. It's actually really cool. I don't think my king bones needs to be in reach. So I can probably move my king bones. He does a universal boost, I bet. Let me get rid of these skeletal franks. Skeletal frank boosts undead. So we're not done seeing skeletal frank here. He's hanging out in the back. Not really getting boosted much, but look at the Vampire Queen, shiny Vampire Queen, that's really cool. I have a King Bones here, and I probably should try and put a shiny Sethos in this spot. And once again, he is doing a damage of 3,500 right out of the gate and a speed of 0.13. So I think he's attacking roughly every 10 seconds or so. I think that's about 8 seconds, and it's the same thing with Vampire King. His speed is 0.13, which is very slow. So that's roughly about eight to nine seconds. And look at this, he's level five already. And where are we at? We're at four million already with a range of 45. And that's with Nightmare on him. And I need to place one more Sethos down in order to see his max. Oh, and I have to place my Demon Mage as well. So we're not even done here. This Vampire King is all leveled up. And we didn't even take a look at Vampire Queen. We're on wave 10, so we have plenty of time to work with. Let me put down another Sethos. And can I level up the Sethos? I need to get some money. Not that it matters so much. But I need 175. Come on, Sethos. Pay attention here. I know you're very slow. But his range, look, his range is actually really good. If I zoom out a little bit. That is good. 
Can I get to that 175 or is it not going to work? Oh man, this is gonna be painful for me. I probably should put down a skeletal frank right over here and see if I can start collecting some money. 42,085, 110. I mean, I'll get there eventually. There we go. This this Sethos is at 727,000. And now this Sethos here, that's my shiny, right? No, this is my regular this is my regular Sethos. So he's doing 443. And let's put a demon mage. Let's see if we can get a demon mage right here. There we go. And let's go ahead and fully level up this demon mage now. Let's take a look and see what kind of damage and chaos is ensuing right in the front of the house here. Look at the vampire bath and boost he's getting here. 5,836,401. And that's the Vampire King. That's a non-shiny Vampire King, but it has Nightmare on him. And it does look like he's doing tick damage. He's summoning. Look at this. Look at the summons. Isn't that animation pretty cool with all these bats and the fire? That Yeah, that is pretty neat. Let's take a look at the shiny Vampire Queen. She's getting boosted like crazy as well. And looks like she's doing a speed of 10. So that's super fast. And is doing 82,000. So multiply that by 10. That's 820,000 damage per second. Everything is on boost for her. And her range is 64.5. So with a speed of 10, that kind of reminds me of King Dark Skull. Let's take a look in the back over here. And I can probably put another Demon Mage back here. That way we can boost all of these heroes in the back. King Bones, I don't know if I have him in a great spot, but I actually have enough money, so I will level him up. Remember, he does piercing damage. He's not getting boosted all that much. Same thing with Shiny King Rev. We're really focusing on the Shiny Vampire Queen and regular Vampire Queen. And now, she's doing, wow, she's doing 1 million damage per second. You multiply this number by the speed, and of course, Shiny Vampire Queen has Nightmare on her. This regular Vampire Queen has Nightmare. This is looking really good. This Vampire King is doing, is that 7 million? That's 700 million. That's very impressive. That's really good. McCool has a really cool, has a really McCool vampire team. Look at this guy. I can't even get a screenshot of him. There's so many boosts around him. I'll have to figure out another way to get a screenshot for my thumbnail. Regular Vampire King. And these Vampire Kings are so hard to come by. I mean, to, to get one of them is probably pretty tough. I don't even want to know what he had to pay to get these. Maybe he had one or two of them already, but he has a he has a level 5 Vampire King. And he doesn't have a shiny. That would have been super cool. But still, to have a regular level 5 Vampire King, to have a shiny level 5 Vampire Queen, and have a regular Vampire Queen is really, really good. That's really impressive, actually. And I think I have one of each on the floor. I do. Let's put a Sethos... Oh, yeah, we'll put a shiny Sethos, I guess, right here in this position. And what's crazy, for this video, I tried to upgrade my regular Sethos here, and I spun 20 times and got nightmares. Like, oh, no, I just wanted Infernal. But it didn't happen to be the case this time. And now the, the boss is out, and he doesn't even last. That's super cool. He was over with and done super quick. Let's go back to the lobby. So what'd you think of all these vampires? I think it's really cool, in my opinion. Now, is it something you're going to go after? I'm not really sure. That's probably going to be really hard to get. But at the same time, it's super cool that McCool has them. So I want to thank him for helping me out with this video. And so if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.